All right, Seb, get all the cursing out of your system before we record. F f f f race. Is that enough? That was your hamburger and french fry show for uh, Portland 2021, y'all. <laughs> I think we should do a blooper on this oh, one. Oh, I'm like, look. Beep, beep, oh, beep, 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 beep. It, it, it's going to be. And that's, that's it. Thanks for coming. I don't know if I've ever seen you fight harder for what you would consider a meaningless finishing position. Like most of us, we just let our foot off the gas and coast. You are out there scrapping your balls off, trying to take, what, 17th place off of Renus VK. We'll talk about the day Alex Palou who won. We'll get to all that in a moment. But you're, well, you're going to have to explain to me what oh, happened because well, yeah, I he, didn't he, really understand he anything. No I know we were like five, fifth. Fifth at one point. And then it all went to crap. And, and from there, I lost track of what happened really. But, you know. Tell folks what it's like, though, because that competitive spirit, I know you're not fighting for the win, but for you, you're going to try and kill whatever is in front of you, even if it's not a memorable finishing position. What is that spirit about, man? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, you know, it's only fun to drive the car if you drive it 10 10. And, and you know, we had, we had a quick, uh, quick rig under us today. You know, honestly, that, that you know, Rocket 14 uh, Chevrolet was, was really pretty darn good. I mean, I, I didn't exactly know how we were going to be in race trim, but we're, we're in the mix in qualifying. Honestly, if, if we probably leave the car alone setup wise, we're probably like eight, mm. something like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's just what defines those weekends are so few little details that it, it just, it's a killer. And so, yeah, you get shuffled to the back, but you know, you obviously. You owe it to your team, and it's your job. And, and honestly, I just don't like to just drive around. So I just drive as hard as I can and try and make some moves. Obviously, we're really short on push to pass because we had burned a lot of it trying to make some hay, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, during the last sequence uh, before the pit stop. But yeah, and then the yellow comes out, and you're like, really? <laughs> like, <laughs> is this always going to be like this today? Like when when we got a shot, you know, things just kind of really go to hell. But um, that's kind of a typical Portland, though. Is cautions, people's fortunes plummeting or rising? You are on the happy side for a while, then you are on the unhappy side to close. Alex Polo on pole, Alexander Rossi P2, Scott Dixon P3. They go into turn one on lap one, one, two, three, end up back a number of rows after they shuffled the order. There's a rule about if you Block, go through, if you, if you et cetera, shortcut, et cetera. Yeah. Then they decide to pit on lap 10, I think it was, just before we go back to green. They fall back to like 17th, 18th, and 19th. Caution, caution, caution. And somehow the guys who were one, two, three to start, then all the way at the back for quite a while, come back up front to finish one, two, three. It's Portland's just that place. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and honestly, it, it's like that a lot. Because, you know, in the way the Nikar races are run, obviously, closing the pits under yellow, if you had to stop to your race compared to the alternate strategy, almost any yellow finishes you. Mm. You know, and, and that's that's the long and the short of it. And, and even, like, sitting fifth, I swear to God, those guys here, they were looking at it, and they were like, almost considering surrendering a fifth place and going to 16th, 17th or 18th, depending on how many guys go with you in the pits on lap 10, because you know at that point you, you can probably do it you know, on, on two stops. But it just seems so backwards, right? Yes. To just like give up that many positions in the hopes that all the guys at the front get screwed by some kind of miracle of yellow, which when you do that, most times, there is no yellow, and so you know it's them if you do, them if you don't, and that and that's what's such a head scratcher. I mean, it's obviously awesome to watch the races, you know, on TV and stuff, but from the inside, man, it is just a heartbreaker because you just never really know what it is that you should be doing. Um, so yeah, I mean, and you know, just really disappointed for the guys. I mean, obviously disappointed period that you know we we had something going and and we get what like 17th 18th, 18th whatever yeah. out of it uh, but you know I, I still feel like we're obviously moving forward we, we, we're making the car better and we're understanding a few things and 
you know that's that's why I'm here. I mean, obviously, I kind of like to get some results. Sometimes, yes, yes. But I guess we got one the last time around, so maybe we we're already like <laughs> over a quarter. I don't know. Uh, but you know, just uh, just a tough break, and uh, yeah, just a, a upside down race back and forth with with those guys that got to the back, finishing at the front. Obviously, they had they had fast cars. Uh, they made that that you know pretty hard fuel number yeah. uh, initially work, and and with pace, like you have to have pace to be able to to pull some decent lap times with saving that much fuel. So. Uh, but we made it work in 18 too. We ended up third, doing yeah. the exact same thing after the mayhem, the mayhem in, in, in turn three. So, unfortunately, kind of history just kind of repeats itself. And uh, if if there is any kind of comment, that's kind of what comes out of this. I feel bad for your teammate Dalton Kellett too. He was having a strong run. What was decently well up in the field had the car uh, shut off on him as well so no uh, licking some wounds here I didn't want to say the word lick after you said you're gonna lick me yesterday but licking some wounds here a little bit in the Foyt pit had a change real rapid change Pato award took control of the championship after we visited worldwide technology raceway Alex Polo takes it right back uh, this championship is certainly by no means over a big scrap there at some other good runs today. Graham Rahal was quick like a bunny trying to make a two-stopper work in the middle segment of the race where those on the three stoppers had yet to show what they had coming at the end. Graham was really strong. He won't be happy. I think he finished P10. Pato Ward started what I think seventh uh, was looking super strong as well. Finished 14th just an up and down day so yeah and, and honestly like you look at it it's just again the proof of like it is so hard like any guy has a chance like in the top 15 anybody can win and and the race goes upside down as soon as anything happens because the guys that come from 15th and get a little bit of a break they run at the front all of a sudden and they're staying right there so like you say it just goes back and forth back and forth and then you never really know what's going to be the, the finish in this scenario so um, yeah just quite I'm, I'm sure it's entertaining to watch from the inside yes. man it is so frustrating yes. sometimes but you know that's the beauty of IndyCar I guess the message here be an IndyCar fan not an IndyCar driver there's a lot of heartbreak when you're when you're the IndyCar driver's side all right, well, let's wrap because we're going to be doing this again here in just a few days at one of my two home tracks. Uh, I'm just going to call Laguna Seca. Technically, it's WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca, but it's Laguna. We're going to be there again. You, because he's a good father, good husband, he's going to be flying home for a couple days, giving his amazing wife a little bit of a spell, looking after the kids. The new little baby crazy baby kittens they're foster parenting cats um i don't know what else you're gonna do and then you're gonna fly back and then well i'm just really being a, a, a cab driver uh, a cab driver <laughs> driving the kids to their various activities um the reason he was able to fight so hard today though is his belly was full of amazing amazing food so we were supposed to go to my little favorite soul food joint just over the, uh, the hill here, Poshines. He decided instead, because Poshines closed early, we were gonna go to this, um, what he found, best Peruvian restaurant I've ever been to. Not like I've been to a lot, but, oh. It was pretty darn good, wasn't it? It was good. Look, as a fat guy who loves food, I'm telling you, you nailed it, Bordet. You're the official chooser of the Marshall Pruitt dining plan. But who's, who's, who was dating who then? I don't know, but he was not. I mean, they were looking at, at us kind yes. of like, he was Weird. knocking back the booze like, too. Sloppy drunk. Like, like the the hamburger and like the thin French fry. I think it, she was very disturbed at the the scene there. Honestly, as she should have been. <laughs> All right. Well, this is your usual train wreck on Racer.com. I'm Marshall Pruitt. That's Sebastian Bourdais. On the top of my head, French the guy fry. we love, we absolutely love, Robin Miller. So sad to have been at our first race without him. But the uh, the bacon to the hamburger and French fry show. Uh, is never gonna be uh, never gonna be lost to us. Always be part of what we do. So thanks for watching. <sighs> California, here we come. See you in a couple of days. All right, brother. I think that was not so bad. After two years of rust, and you're getting.